My name is Christina and I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf and today I am bringing you Eyes Only For You by Andrew Gray, published by Dream Spinner Press. This book is already out, came out October 10th uh, due to my move and GRL. I'm a little behind. Don't tell anybody. This is a MM romance. Um, it's actually, I would consider it more LGBT and uh, more in the B area because hear me out. We have Marcelo, who is openly out and proud, and that's who he is. And then we have Jerry, who has only dated the ladies and is a smooth-talking kind of guy. And uh, he's kind of those guys in the past, not a big deal, until he really notices Marcelo. They became friends at the gym, they work out together, so they see each other's sweaty, hunky bodies, lifting the weights, doing what they do, and just, mmm. The muscles straining everywhere. And with some mutual friends, they come together more often, even outside of the gym. And so they start to become friends. Jerry finds his attractiveness to Marcelo really hard to resist. And Marcelo, due to a past relationship, actually his ex-husband, who left him for somebody else, he's all about not falling for the straight guy. Like Marcelo is ready to settle down, ready to get married, start a family. Um, move forward with his life. And Jerry is not that guy. But Jerry, uh, he just has these feelings that he can't get over. And here's what I really liked about Eyes For You, is that both characters have an issue. Marcelo trying to get over his ex, trying to move forward, trying to get past all the crap. Then we have Jerry who's trying to move forward, but what is forward? You know, how is he supposed to feel about this? How is he going to tell his parents that he feels like this. He's got a prosperous career ahead of him and he wants to go and work on that but at the same time he has Marcelo. I like Andrew Gray's writing style on this. Um, I liked being able to see both persons points of view. What irked me and what is going to take this down by quite a bit is the whole by erasure that goes on through this story. Not once does Jerry come out and say oh, you know what? I'm bisexual. And honest to God truth, this book is a gay for you. Not, hey, I'm bisexual, or hey, I'm demisexual, or let's figure this out. It's completely erased, and it's just, I'm gay for you, is, is I still notice the ladies, they're still beautiful, but all I see is you. And in a way, that's great. I'm glad you have this love, but you erased a whole letter from the LGBT line and you're erasing sexuality and that irked me to no degree that never once was this said. What also got me is there's kind of a mystery at the end, a little plot that's never resolved and this is supposed to be like a standalone in the series. Where is it at? How are we going to figure out what's going on? I'm kind of left really open here. So with that being said, I am really upset with the whole bi erasure with the let's not explore the sexuality and understand who we are and the mystery that's never solved. But I'm so thankful that both characters had something to work on. And it wasn't just Marcelo hanging in the wind. Oh, is Jerry ever going to like me? I'm just going to float in the breeze. But he too was working on bettering himself in some way due to his ex who just destroyed him like an a-hole and then Jerry finding himself only does he really truly find himself if we totally annihilated and erased a whole possibility that he could be and it's not even there at the end of the day I really liked the story I'm just really irked and upset about this one major thing. It just is bothering me. So because of that, it would have dropped down to a four star. But because this mystery is still out there and it's not solved and I have no clue what's going on, I'm going to give Eyes Only For You by Andrew Gray 3.5 stars. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, I'm going to ask that you give my video a like. Leave me a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to be one of those people that says, look for a review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But one, that's not how books were released. Two, I just moved and everything is up in the air and that's the magic of the subscribe button. I'm going to ask that a favor from you to me, that you go to Dream Spinner Press. Make yourself a profile and buy the book from them. One, you're supporting a small publisher. Two, the author gets more money. And three, Amazon gets none. If you are a true one-clickaholic, I will leave the Amazon link for you down below. 
as well. Don't fret. And no judgment. If you like me and you're like, I really like this chick and I would like to know more places where I can stalk that lady, I, I will leave my Facebook page and my Twitter down below for you. Uh, if you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read, I will also leave my email address below. Andrew Gray's Eyes Only for You, published by Dream Spinner Press, is out now. 3.5 stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf and today I'm coming to you from the library of Browerton University, the basis for the creation of the Browerton University series by A.J. Truman. And you're like, Christina, that doesn't look like a library. Uh, my review, my rules. True story. The first book in the series is Out in the Open and this features sophomore Ethan with senior Greg. Greg is the all-time kind of fraternity guy. You know, gets the ladies, has the grades, is popular.